Can you imagine a classroom full of bright, inquisitive girls excited about learning the theories of math? Or can you imagine a team of young ladies working diligently to solve complex problems with engineering principles? The people of Alabama Power can imagine that. Alabama Power brings the power of math and science to 26 eighth grade girls from Etowah County Schools today with the I Can Girls in Engineering Conference. The conference took place at Rainbow Middle School and according to conference participants, the decision to take part was a no brainer. They relished the opportunity to learn about engineering. I think it's pretty awesome that they're doing that to get more girls inv involved in engineering. I decided to come here on my own. My science teacher requested me, I guess, and I took that as an opportunity and I decided to come here. All of the conference girls are going into their freshman year. Alabama Power Vice President of the Eastern Division, Julia Seegers, says that the projects that the girls work on during the conference teach them to apply engineering skills to everyday problems. This is part of Alabama Power's um, new education initiative to really promote um, STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as other initiatives that fits right in there. Um, to help better our kids and make them uh, ready for the workforce and hopefully ready to work for us one day. Alabama Power Distribution Engineer Jennifer Robinson says the, conference, the conferences are a proven success. She can point to two students who will graduate with a degree in engineering because they were inspired by the program. Robinson adds that engineering is a field the girls can grow to love. It's all about problem solving. It's all about uh, making sure something works and how you come about making it work. So I live it. The conference lasts for one full day, ending with a panel discussion and a special guest speaker from the field of engineering. This is the first time Alabama Power has presented the program to Etowah County Schools.